What is up, everybody? Welcome back to a uh, delayed <laughs> episode of Chicken Bone Alley brought to you by Earl Ramey Racing Engines, Pro Fab Hitters, and Exhaust, SRI Performance, and Stock Car Steel and Aluminum. What's up? I'm David. I'm Connor. What's up, man? Not a whole lot. Um, A lot of racing going on since we last hey, had kidding. an episode. Well, we missed last week because I and my entire family, hmm. um, my wife, kids my mom and dad I'm, we were all sick really sick 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 i mean I, well i never went to the doctor mom and dad went to the doctor they had flu a yeah is that the bad or the that's the bad one. really yeah mm-hmm. she my mom was still she over it but just dragging from it yeah. still and i still got a lingering little cough but nah. <laughs> man that was rough really i've had covid like four times and I wasn't right. near as bad as that. <laughs> I've been lucky so far. I only had a flu once, and it was a mild kind. So I've 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 gotten lucky with that, thankfully. I don't know what happened. It was um, we left. Well, I was over at Timmonsville, over over at racetrack, Florence Motor Speedway, and was good out there. All of a sudden, I came home. About the time I got over here, and just felt awful. Mm. Went home, went to bed, and I didn't get out of bed again until Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Just jumped all over you. Dude, it was bad. Bad, bad, bad. But anyway, what you been up to? Not a whole lot this week. You know, um, soccer and school a little bit and uh, watch some racing. About about most of it. Fun, fun, fun. Well, yeah, that's why we we're uh, a, a night behind because I figured uh, last night, I was like, well, 500 going on right now. Nobody wants to watch us, yeah. and we want to watch the race. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we were like, well, we'll kind of react to it tomorrow. That'll probably be the best thing to do for a few minutes anyway. Um, but first, before we get into that, I want to go back, actually, to to the, uh, the icebreaker there at Florence, since we didn't get to talk about it too much. Um, man, I thought that was one of the best actual well, races we had out there yeah. in a long time. A lot. Um, less carnage compared to the 400, for sure, yeah. which was pretty rough, and... Um, yeah, I thought it was a, uh, a little had a good, you know, just flow of it. You know, it was a little little strategy with tires, but it wasn't like they were just riding the whole race either. You no. know, because they didn't know if there'd be a break or not. You know, or they knew there wasn't going to be a break, but you know, you don't know when the caution is going to fall that way. So, right. I thought just overall it was a really good race and uh, had a pretty good finish. It was. I thought. Um, I thought our uh, local boy Casey Kelly was going. Yeah. I think if that that last caution wouldn't come out. He, he might, might have, have been chance, all right. I but think he was, Carson was coming. Carson point, was coming, but Carson was definitely coming. I I, I think he might have could have held him off a little better, but with that restart, it just he couldn't hold him. But still finished third. Yep. I mean, our our you know, like I said, our local guy, our, uh, guy who's run a lot of races over there, um, which says a lot. Uh, you know, to come home third in a race like that, that's that's pretty pretty oh, yeah. stout. Stout field for sure. Very stout. Uh. Carson Hosevar, I mean, Carson Hosevar, God, Carson Quaffle. I was sitting there thinking about the five hundred already. Um, Carson Quaffle uh, picked up the win there at Florence. Um, got to speak with him a little bit. Uh, he was happy about it. Happy to kind of come back from last year's oh yeah uh, icebreaker because he didn't run too good in it. Um, it Connor Hall second place. I think he had another couple of laps, so he was he was yeah he was driving it hard. During yeah, the last I, th- couple. I think Carson was was still a little better. I think lap traffic obviously yeah. you know messed with them, but they were pretty even. Yeah, it'd, it'd been interesting to see. It would have been. It would have been. Um, so that was a that was a good weekend out there. Um, and I posted on there, man, when Johnny Morris, uh, founder of Bass Pro Shops, yeah. is at Florence Motor Speedway. You know, late model stock racing is doing oh, yeah. all right. Oh yeah, good, <coughs> good full stands and all, and uh, you know they're pulling for Junior. And he, there was a point in that race where I thought if this thing continues to go green, Junior might, you know, end up winning because I think he had a good car in the long run, and I could tell both of the Junior cars were handling really good. I was uh, I was down on pit road. I, I was actually over there to our buddy uh, Matt Cox down at his trailer, and I was going to get up on top of the trailer and just never did. Um, I was standing there watching, but it was so funny because you could you could tell any time Junior passed somebody. Yeah, I mean, they were cheering when he passed lap cars. It was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. It was crazy. So, uh, but it was a uh, it was a good day out there. Um, turn around here, uh, not this weekend, but next weekend. 
opening opening race for yep. for the season and for the season uh March second, I think it is coming up. So um you gonna be you gonna be running it? A charger's running that day or I think so. Well it- the first time I saw it wouldn't then I just looked at another schedule and it's got them on there now. I don't know. So well uh, we'll see. We uh we got some stuff to do, but we'll, we might we might be there. We're trying to get going here soon, so yeah. There or shortly after we'll be there. Yeah, I know the I know the two week or what is it? Not the next week, but a week after. I think it is. I know Chargers are on the schedule mm-hmm. then. Um, I don't know. I had to look it up again and see what's going on with it. Um, but I do know. I think Legends are on it. Yeah. Um. We'll do. I know uh, our buddies Dennis and Barry and all them went over to Dylan to practice a little bit oh, did Saturday. They? Yeah, cool. They called me on the way over there. I was like, ah, I can't make it. <laughs> we, we, uh, everybody been sick, and you can see all this stuff around here. I was working on lettering. Yeah, I'm still, <laughs> still in the process. <sighs> That's a job. I bet. What are you doing? Best you making it yourself. Well, it's just. It's not so, I'm just very, I, I know exactly how I want something to look. Yeah. And trying to get it out of my head and on that computer mm-hmm. over there sometimes doesn't exactly yeah. work. <laughs> I'm too picky about it. Way too picky about it. Um, That is what it is. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, it, that's why all them sheets are over there behind you over there. Yeah. Like you've been uh, hard at work with it. I'm telling you, it's been something else, but it's all right. It'll be, it'll come together like I want it to over there. Um, we got all kind of legend car bodies over there in another shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got my car that we painted. Um, uh, we got one we're doing for Dennis. My dad's doing for Dennis, and then uh, our buddy Matt Grantham brought wow. his over here. Wow. You <laughs> so, have everything on. <laughs> so we got bodies and fenders and <laughs> everything everywhere over there. Um, no, nah, it's all good. It's all good. So uh, anyway, um, all right. Well, that brought us up to this past week um, of racing. Felt like it lasted a week. Um, <laughs> yeah. Started out Wednesday night qualifying for Cup at uh at Daytona for the five hundred. Um Joy Logano, Michael McDowell sit on the front row. Surprised by that? Uh a little bit with McDowell. You know, I mean obviously I think he can always run good there. I didn't think he never seen him qualify that good there, so but uh I was pleasant, pleasantly surprised, I'll say. I was I was glad to see him. I was hoping he'd hold on to get the pole, but Logano got him at the end, so uh New new Mustang must be all right. Well, that and also they announced um, it might have been qualifying day or day of the duels or something. I can't remember what day it was. They announced it that they are now a Penske Alliance team yeah. and they're on tier one, tier one Ford. Ford. Yeah, so pretty much their top team. Oh yeah. Um, and I think. That that might have a little bit to do with. It. I mean, when you're getting, well, when you're taking a championship, the team that won the championship, Penske, um, you know, would Ryan Blaney, and now you can look at all the notes, pretty much. Yes. I mean, I know that's a little different for Daytona, but McDowell's has been a really good break. Right? Oh, yeah. I mean, he's got 500 wins. Oh yeah, that's so. what I'm saying. I've spent him run good. It was yeah. just kind of a surprise to see him qualify. So on the front row, but but I th- yeah. I think that that. They not put him on the motor package, yeah. Um, grade A motor package, I guess, and uh, that seemed to really happen. But his first time, it's really funny. I did read this. Uh, it's first time Hendrick has not been on the pole or not on the front row in ten years. Wow, I think it was. I um, not at least one car on the front row. Um, which is really funny because we'll get to it because. The last time they weren't on the front yeah. row, yep. Junior won. Yeah, they hear that stat, and, and they hadn't won since. So that's pretty pretty interesting. Um, I was like, well, I'd take uh, back they in went. the field any day. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, came up to duels. Um, uh, I don't know what you think about the duels. It, yeah, 
They were they were all right. They weren't. Thankfully, they've kind of got away from that single file on the top. They don't do that anymore. They, they used to be with the duels. Pretty much was oh, yeah. the race where they just yeah. rode. They, at least it looks like they're racing a little bit. Um, obviously, you saw the second duel. There was a wreck, which was Mine took a hard yeah, hit. Three or four guys, you know, backup car right there. So that was that was kind of unexpected. But other than that, they were just Daytona duels, really. Man, I'm gonna tell you when I saw that hit Blaney took, I was, was tough. expecting him to sit there a little while. And yeah, he kind of popped. Well, right we had fire there. coming up too. I bet he that probably motivated him a yeah, little bit. Yeah, that gets you out of there quick. <laughs> <laughs> um. So anyway, then the next thing to come up Friday night truck race, and they moved to Arca race to. Mm. You might as well just skip after the truck race. Skip that pretty much. Well, that's what I was about to say. Man, that truck race. I hate to say it, but I feel like outside of the top 10 or 12, I think the talent level is just a lot lower than what it was. And I know the trucks looked a little unsteady, but they did. There were some just very questionable decisions. But it, but if you know they're unsteady, exactly. If you know they're yeah. unsteady, why make why, uh, why yeah. try that stuff? Yeah. Um, I've heard a lot of stuff. I heard even something today talking about, you know, they need to up the age for trucks. I was like, well, if you up the age for trucks, you got to up it for cup now. I mean, because it's the same age, I think. Yeah. Um, far as the big tracks, you got to be 18 years old to run like Daytona and Talladega and I think anything over a half mile or something like that. Anyway, over a mile. Um, I don't have a problem with the age. My problem is, is every other sport in the world you've got to come up through you've got to come up through some ranks um you know baseball you everybody plays high school baseball yeah. they plays college baseball they're probably going to play seven different leagues of baseball water you know football kind of same deal you're going to play high school ball you're probably going to play rick ball before that you play high school college by the time you get to the pros, you know what you're doing. Um, in my opinion, there's some people in the field that, and, and we know some of them, I mean, you know some of them, that are kind of jumping. There's some of them we race legend cars with, and all of a sudden, next thing you know, they're in a truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and knowing how they drove a... Legend car woo, makes it kind of scary. Um, my opinion is, this is just me, maybe since, you know, you have, an, like, like Florence Motor Speedway is a NASCAR sanctioned track. Okay, in my opinion, maybe you need to be um, – in the top five at a track points, at least a NASCAR sanctioned track points in, in late model stock, let's say, yeah, let's just just throw that for here to be able to then move to that next, not just because you got a sponsor that can write a check. Yeah, they used to kind of do that a little bit. I feel like yeah. kind of back in even when Kyle Busch was coming up, you know, whether or not you get the license to run in the right. truck series and all. And I don't know if they had a metrics and all. They just kind of looked at your overall body of work. Yeah. You know, but so yeah, there was some just like I don't know that that was very very hard to watch Dude, for it to be NASCAR's third tier series. It was horrible. It was, in my opinion, it was horrible. Um, Nick Sanchez took the win. Um, I was I looked every truck in the field had wrecked at some point in time during the race. Especially Nick that, Sanchez and Raj Cruz had spun out. Yeah, I mean they well they well they finished them off that last lap. Anybody oh, yeah. that, and I mean it probably who knows how many trucks were just totaled. But yeah, I mean every person in the field, and that's just I don't know. I mean that, I mean I get tough racing and stuff, but that's just that's a little beyond oh, yeah. in my opinion. Um, so then the Arca race, uh, Arca race was kind of. More the same. I didn't even watch it. To be it honest was, with you, it was, it was, I, I'd had my feel after the truck said r- paced the whole race. Well, it was so late, nobody wanted to watch yeah. it anyway. <laughs> uh, the best thing that came out of it there at the end, and what's his name, Andy Janikowski yeah. or Andy J, as Andy they J. call him. Did you see his quote? Yeah, it was great. He <laughs> said, "I wasn't going to live till I saw God or checkered flag." <laughs> <laughs> it's, that was awesome. Uh, he did that. Brought home tenth place. Who won? Who won it? I don't even know. Um, 
uh, da, 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 uh, Gus Ding, Bluffton, yeah. South Carolina's Gus Ding. Right. Sweet. Um, kind of little, little bit of a tiff there between him and yeah, his saw, teammate. Yeah, that, saw she was Tony rambling on. She been on here. Um, I don't know. I feel like. I feel like she's in a year that kind of make or break. Um, don't get me wrong. I, I, we've had her on the show. Super nice to us. Um, but I feel like she's one that she's got to show something now. Oh, yeah. and, and and I follow her on social media, and she does. She goes out and races a lot, actually. She's at the track. She's up at Hickory a lot of times in the middle of the week testing a super late model or a or, or or late model stock um she's i mean so she's in it but she's got to prove in my opinion this yeah. year that she's not just one that had a chick wrote for to race um if she wants to move up um and, and she had a truck ride the other night and she's gonna have a few throughout the year um but i just feel like and so if, if that's what she's aiming for maybe that's why she's upset um, it's, it's, um, she knows she needs to prove something this year. Yeah. So, so I can see why, but regardless, Gustine had a, his, his grandpa just passed not long ago and he said he, he really, <laughs> really, really, really wanted that win and he was going to do whatever he had to do to get it. And hey, you're at Daytona. <sighs> Might, might as well the way it was going. I know. You want to yeah, be out of line today? Yeah. I was fixing to say just just do it. Just just go for it. So I don't know. Um. Well, after that, we waited. Yep. That was Friday night. Next time anything was on the track, um, uh, everything got rained out Saturday, Sunday. Um, Xfinity was supposed to start eleven a.m. Monday. That got then pushed back to after the cup race on Monday night. Um, all right, so we went into the 500 at Daytona. Um, I thought for the most part the first two-thirds of the race yeah. was fairly well. I mean, there was a wreck on lap six. Um, go figure. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, it just looked like some bad moving around by yep. – by some people, um, John Hunter just looked like he was kind of all over the place a few times. Yeah, <laughs> in yeah. my opinion, in both races. Yeah, um, but he. Uh, but anyway, so after that, looked pretty calm throughout the most yeah. most it was part. Pretty of the calm, race. but it was still, you know, the the package now looks like it's pretty much you're gonna stay too wide for most of the race. Yeah. So uh, I thought overall it was pretty pretty you know good 500 for what it was i do think um which is so weird uh, and i remember i'm talking about a little bit last year but they're really really talking about this year the the fuel saving yeah they're doing oh yeah that was um, point in the race where they were running way slower than that, usual that, yeah they said um i heard somebody today on one of the nascar channels talking about uh the first segment of the race they were running two seconds a lap slower than their qualifying speed, where they should be running two seconds faster almost yeah. with the draft. I and I heard Chase Briscoe talking today. He said they asked him did he start fuel saving instantly. He said, "Oh yeah." He said they uh they got they cranked it up, fired them up, ran it for about two seconds, shut it off. Oh yeah. I'm like, man, that's crazy. You know, at Daytona, worry about saving fuel. Yeah. And all it is is worry about making a quick pick stop because nobody can pass. You don't want to lose that draft. Well, they don't want to lose the draft, and they said it just track position so oh, yeah. hard to get is what it said. Um, and I get it. I mean, you'd rather have control of the line, I guess. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, so anyway, uh, race went on. Uh, what was it? Pretty much to eight laps to go, I think yep. it was. That wreck was brewing, though, for about 10 before. Oh, I, don't yes. know, I don't know how they ran as long as they did, pushing as hard as they were. And, and what happened was, I mean, it just, I don't know, cars come together in a yeah, bad right. spot because it really wouldn't. Uh, well, you're pushing that hard three wide. There's, yeah. There's so little yeah. room for somebody to move, and that's just what happened. Somebody 
Got to that up a little bit too hard. Yep. What's up there, guys? We got the guys from Bubba's About Broke Podcast checking us out here tonight. If uh, if y'all haven't already, be sure y'all go check out uh, Bubba's About Broke Podcast. Hi, I'm Jackson McLaren, host of the Bubba's About Broke Podcast. Hey, this is Melvin McLaren, co-host of Bubba's About Broke Podcast. We interview dirt and pavement race car drivers all across the country and talk about their struggles to come to the track every week. Tune in weekly to hear Jackson, co-host Caleb, and me on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook to stay updated. You can hear all about it on Bubba's About Broke. Yeah, there you go. Check out Bubbles About Broke podcast live up there in the Tennessee area. There, um. So yeah. Anyway, like you said, that 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 wreck was brewing. Um, put out about a fifteen minute red flag there. It was long. Um, it was something else. Um, a lot of good cars got took out. Oh yeah, that changed the whole dynamic of the race about all the fords pretty much yeah they were kind of lined up in that top lane and you know they pretty much got taken out of all the penske and roush and everybody so yeah. it was I, th- I felt like joey logano probably had one of the cars to be he was up there yeah i also felt like i felt like denny hamlin could move up he was whenever he's always he won to. yeah he'll be up there at the end and that was the one thing i could say about the car this year was yeah, they were kind of in that two wide pack, but it looked like that you could get a run. You get a third line, and yeah. Go, so, so several people do that whenever they felt it was time to go. Yeah, but you, and you could get a third line, you could get a run, and you could pass people yeah. um, when you needed to or when you had to help to do so. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. So uh, anyway, come down to it, um, Ross Chastain. I don't know if Ross Chastain was that fast or just that aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> he was making some blocks. And, man, in, in all honesty, he was doing exactly what he had. He was doing a really good job, really. He was. He he really, really was. And I really thought – I was kind of – I don't know. I was kind of pulling for him there at the too. front. Yeah. I was like, man, that'd be cool if Ross Chastain won this. Um, he had some tough luck last year. If he could start out with a win. Um, and I hate to say this, I really hate to say this, but I was hoping Austin Cindric would not win. Yeah, I, and it was not because I don't like Austin Cindric. I don't, I like Austin Cindric just fine. The last few years, and I, I've said this on here, so I mean I might get some hate for it, but the last few years, um, when Austin Cindric won, uh, the year that Michael McDowell won, um, Ricky Stenhouse, it was like a wasted spot in the in the playoffs. Oh, yeah. Um, you knew these guys they were not going to win the rest of the year. Outs, first yeah, round. it was first round out those years. Um, so that's why I was just like, man, somebody beat Cindric. I don't, <laughs> I don't want a wasted spot in there. We might still get one throughout the year. Oh, yeah, Who knows? Going to Atlanta next week. You're going to so Atlanta. You going? Um, you know, who knows where? Um, but anyway. Uh, so there was some controversy about the flag coming out, uh, when it came out, uh, finally NASCAR did show it, uh, right. time they, they took a picture of time that they were probably, I don't know, 150, 200 yards past the start. Oh, yeah, it was a lot. I mean, people, people think that as soon as the car starts spinning, yeah, you know, that's when, well, they're going to see they're, they're going, they want them to race oh, yeah. back. Hey, you know, NASCAR wanted to throw that caution, but exactly. It's not when the caution starts is when the light. When the switch flips and the lights come on, right? That's when the and then some were saying, "Well, they they waited a little longer than Bowman won." I, well, they didn't. They, yeah. Once Cinder started coming back up track, they threw a caution right in, which is a smart thing to do. Yeah. I mean, you need people to slow down, not running two hundred mile an you hour into his door because <laughs> you know their cars were wrecked right near the start finish line. They weren't like they were wrecked exactly. at a turn two, you know. But. Exactly, exactly. So uh, anyway. William Byron picked up uh, his first ever Daytona 500 win. Um, pretty pretty stout for him there. Yeah. Um, Hendrick cars one two. Yep. Um, congratulations. So my man Kyle would get it done just because of how long he's been trying. But man, he he's was, gonna get it. He was yeah, up there uh, too. First second stage, he was really up there. I think he got shuffled back on one of them uh, green flag pit stops and all. Yeah, but well, nut uh, wheel nut fell off of it. Really? They say it was going around track. It was not on there. Oh, wow. How the wheel stayed on, they don't really know. Oh, I didn't know that. 
Oh, yeah. RC was not happy. <laughs> Kyle never said a word over the radio, actually. Yeah. He just pulled back in. They fixed it. He took off. Um, Never said a word. Wasn't mad. Nothing, which was, I'm like, dude, this, this dude's changed. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's <laughs> this dude's changed. Yeah. But Richard Childress was so mad. It was, it was, oh, it was bad. Um, So anyway, but yeah, congratulations to, um, to Hendrick Motorsports there. The 24 car bringing home another win. Uh, speaking of Hendrick Motorsports, um, and that 24 car for sure, uh, riding along on that 24 car is some pro fab headers and exhaust. Um, that's what we tell you every week, guys, their quality that wins. So y'all head over to pro fab headers and exhaust, um, get you some, and, you know, same thing. Them guys got on there. Their cars in NASCAR, the Hendrick Bunch, uh, you can have on your race car. So head over to Profab Hitters and Exhaust. Uh, give it our buddy Andrew Gears over there. Tell him we sent you. Uh, also, you can get those over at SRI Performance, guys. They're your one-stop shop for all things racing. Go online, look up whatever you need. Uh, put in that promo code C Bone Ten. That's C is in Chicken B O N E One Zero. Get yourself ten percent off there at time of checkout. Uh, also, same deal over at Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, um, guys. Stock Car Steel and Aluminum. Uh, anything you need uh, material wise, they got you. They got you ready. So head over to Stock Car Steel and Aluminum and uh, get whatever you need. Um, also, Earl Ramey Racing Engines. Uh, might be going to see him real soon here. Pick up my motor. Uh, so y'all head over to uh, Earl Ramey Racing Engines and uh, pick yourself up some of that uh, some of that Earl Ramey power today. It don't matter what kind of application you got. There's our buddy Andrew Gears right there. What's up, Andrew? Um, so uh, y'all head over there and pick yourself up some horsepower today. Um, all right, real quick. Uh, I know Connor's got to get out of here yeah. here soon. Um. It, it, Real quick, how's your grandmother doing? She's doing all right now. She's um, I think she moved to a step down unit today, which is good. She's at the ICU. What actually happened? Well, she'd just been getting dizzy and stuff, and they really couldn't figure out what was wrong with her. And I think she she fell and you know apparently hit her head pretty hard, had a brain bleed, and had to do Dang. surgery. And I was it was rough for a while, but she's she's off of a ventilator and all now, so she's she's making some progress. So. Oh, good, good, good. We're praying for her still, though. Appreciate it. Oh, appreciate it. That's rough there. Glad she's getting moving in the right direction yeah. for sure. Um, so anyway, real quick, uh, Xfinity race was after the cup race. Did you stay awake for all of it? I uh, cut it off about 20 to go. I tried. <laughs> I tried myself. But, and I figured I could see a predictable out, outcome there. Oh, uh, yeah. Winner wise. But, uh, I tried. I don't, they were, they were rough too. So uh, it was rough. I figured they had a couple more wrecks in them too. So I, I went ahead and shut it down. Well, the uh, United Rentals driver won the United Rentals hey. 300 there at Daytona. Austin Hill took home a yeah. third uh, Daytona win in a row. Well, uh, Daytona yeah. the early Daytona win, uh, season opener Daytona win. Uh, so congratulations to Austin Hill. Um, dude has got crazy. Daytona yeah. figured out. Well, I think RCR cars are very good as well because you saw yeah. Jesse Love and all that there, but yeah. Jesse Love, he, I thought him and Jesse Love, um, what was it, the uh, second stage? My Did day, Jesse yeah. Love won? Or was it first stage? I think it was the first one. First stage. Yeah. Anyway, him and Austin Hill were, I think they said it was three thousandths of a second yeah. difference. Yeah, RCR um, brings some mean, mean cars to Super Speedways and Xfinity side. Yeah, for sure. So, um, Man, that was I, I really think them two could have just stayed in the line. Um strategies played out different because they went in the pit. A lot of them stayed out, and I think that's what put them back in the pack and yeah. and got them in that wreck. Um fortunately Austin Hill didn't get messed up too bad in it. So uh so anyway. Uh also guys, go check out our good friends over at Dixie Maid. Dixie Maid, uh guys, right here in Florence, South Carolina. Y'all go check them out. Uh, check them out on Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. They, they put up all their new sh new apparel every day um, on there. Also, Fresh Chef, guys, if you are up in the uh, Race City area, as I like to say, uh, check out Fresh Chef, one of my favorite restaurants for sure. Um, man, I, I, it don't matter what you get there. It's good. I love the shrimp and grits, so uh, go try that. Uh, also, Rev Max Racing Apparel, guys. Need a new suit. 
gloves, all that fun stuff. Go check out Rev Max Racing Apparel. Uh, they can hook you up. Also, MPM Marketing, McAllister Precision Marketing. Uh, head over to www.marketwithmpm.com. And um, if you are uh, young young in this game especially uh, and looking to move up, um, you got to have a good marketing team behind you. So head over there, talk with Tanya at MPM Marketing. Um, you won't regret it. Anyway, well, um, Atlanta coming up this week. Um, looks like got a good forecast for it for weather. Yeah, good. Um, uh, one I want to pick or say real quick from from Daytona, Corey LaJoy ended up with a fourth place finish. Yeah, no, he was up there. Um, now he's going to Atlanta, which has been a really good track for him um, since the new yeah. style. So, uh, what you thinking about it? Yeah, I think it'll be a good race. I wish they weren't back to back, you know. But um, I guess we get super speedways out of the way at least. But um, I, Atlanta's cool. Atlanta's. I think it's. I think it's going. I think it's getting a little weathered. I think Hanlon's going to come yeah. back into play. I don't think they're going to be completely wide open. Yeah, and I think Daytona is getting. You see, Daytona looks like it's yeah. getting rougher and rougher. Yeah, which is good. Yeah, which is good. They said some Hanlon. Um, I know Kyle Busch was talking about his car was getting tight. Um, so. Uh, to me, that's good when a little bit of handling comes into play. So, uh, anyway, guys, y'all, uh, y'all go check it out this weekend. Um, we still got a few spots open on our uh, on our fantasy league. If anybody wants to jump in, I need to check on it and see how I did. I don't know. I got second. Second. Kale won. Really? Yeah. Um, I think you were third or fourth. I think. Um. So. Uh, we got a few spots left on it. Uh, we're doing a little bit different. We're doing fan tracks this year, trying it out. The only reason is because I couldn't get in on my NASCAR.com. I right. put in password, everything, everything comes up. It just will not go through. Yeah. On hey. Good old Same thing, pretty much. So. Yeah. I, I, the way I set it up, very similar. Very similar. So, uh, anyway, guys, just want to jump on here real quick since we weren't able to yesterday. Um, like I said, Connor's got to run, and we want to get off here anyway and let y'all. Uh, Get going with you Tuesday night. But anyway, guys, appreciate y'all all coming on here, hanging out with us, and uh, y'all go check out some racing this weekend. Um, if anywhere else, not any, if, if not anywhere else, check out Atlanta this weekend. Um, I will say me and Landon went a couple years ago. Um, I don't know what the schedule is for this weekend. I haven't looked. Um, we went when it was the Xfinity race during the day on Saturday and yeah. the truck race. I think it's a double header Saturday night. I don't, know, I don't know what the order is, but I think they are racing. Well, up. it was one of the best tickets ever bought. Um, by one ticket, you get to watch both races, um, and they were cheap. Yeah, I mean it was like thirty bucks a ticket. Wow! So you couldn't beat it. Now, I don't know. It's probably gone up a little bit since then. Maybe, but but, yeah. but uh, if y'all are in that area, go go get it because that's a fun race to watch. Um, good seats too. So anyway. All right. Well, anything else? I don't think so. Well, cool. We'll have a lot of uh, ramping up to racing coming up next weekend or next week um, to talk about. Uh, might have a special guest here. I'm not sure yet. I think he might be. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but anyway, guys. All right. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate all of our uh, our partners on here for sure. Y'all go check them all out. But we will uh, we will be seeing y'all soon. Um, Talk to y'all next time. Later.